Hey students, um, this is your video on our next element of art, which is texture. So texture, we learned a little bit about those of you who did our um, assignment that was like a sketchbook assignment or like a project um, for when you were finished with your collages. So you did a page on texture. So some of you got to like kind of explore this already, which is great to have um, a little bit of a step up. Uh, for those of you who have not practiced drawing any textures. So for texture, um, just like with the other elements of art, you have the uh, definition and any notes at the top. We again have two sections here. So we've got examples of texture, and then you're going to do a drawing using texture. So for your examples of texture, what I want you guys to do is have um, five examples of implied texture and five examples of actual texture. So as we learned in the video, texture is all about the feel of things, right? It's about how something feels or how something looks like it feels, right? So we have two categories of texture. We have implied texture, which is the illusion of texture. Um, that would be an example of that would be a drawing of something that looks like it feels like something. So for example, so let's do let's talk about implied texture and then we'll talk about actual texture so for one example you could do for implied texture uh, maybe I want to do some hairy texture so I'm going to do lots of repeated lines to make it look hairy now maybe I do spiky texture right or this kind of looks like grass maybe so lots of like jagged lines. And then maybe I have something that um, looks like maybe like sandpaper, like a rough kind of texture that's got lots of little dots. So these are all examples of implied texture because when I look at this drawing and I think, oh, that looks kind of spiky. If I were to actually touch it, it's just the illusion of that texture happening, but I actually touch it and it yeah, I feel the smoothness of the paper, right? So that is how I know that it's just implied. So artists are always trying to fool you. They're trying to create these illusions. Um, and so with texture, we have this um, ability with drawing and painting to create these illusions of texture so we can start to imagine what uh, that object might actually feel like, even if when we were to touch that painting or drawing, it doesn't actually feel that way. So creating these illusions can make your drawings look way more realistic. And everything in the world has texture. Everything with a surface has a texture, right? So if you think about the way that when you're looking at an object, what texture that surface has, um, the way that you depict that texture in an, in an artwork can really make that um, object really look realistic or not realistic, um, depending on how you do it. So. You're going to do five different implied textures, so just drawing of texture. And then I want you to do five actual textures. Now, the way that you're going to do this is that you could, you have one option, is to take things like, I don't know, a tissue. This is a little tissue all bunched up. So you could take a piece of tissue or a piece of toilet paper or a paper towel or something. And um, if you wanted to actually glue it down, you could. You could take like a piece of um, tissue paper or right, any kind of piece of paper and glue it down. So I've crumpled it up. So if I were to glue this flat and I actually touch it, it would definitely have a texture to it, right? So you're welcome to like actually glue things down. This is a piece of um, like a, a coffee mug uh, holder. And so it's got a little bit of texture to it. So I could like tear off a piece of that and glue that down. That would be three different examples, right? So you could glue them down if you want to. You also don't have to. So you could create a combination of things um, somewhere in your photo, or you could also do this as a separate photograph. So you could arrange some things. So here I've got an orange peel. It definitely has a texture to it. You can see all the little bumps um, they have. And on the inside, obviously, it's got these like cracked texture. I kind of like the outside best. So you might arrange it like that. I found a penny. So this definitely has a texture because if you can feel it, the bumps of the penny are raised, right? So any coin or anything like that. Um, I went outside and I picked a dandelion. It looks a little wilty right now, but um, definitely this 
I mean, again, any, everything has actual texture, right? But the thing that's fun about thinking about texture is we get to play around with how, um, what kind of fun, interesting textures we can um, observe in the world. So I've picked this up from the ground as well. So kind of just arranging this in some way so that we can see all five things, you know, and then taking a picture of that. So it can be just arrangement, taking picture, or again, you can take some of these objects and actually glue them down. If you have Elmer's glue, you could actually um, take this liquid glue and do a little design on your drawing and then let it dry. And that also creates an actual texture, um, as probably many of you have experienced with using um, liquid glue like that. It will have a little bit of a bumpy texture to it, which can be really cool. So play around with um, sort of getting lots of examples of texture and again having five of your implied textures, this illusion of texture, and then five different examples of the actual textures um, that you can find, you can collect. So you can collect these from outside, obviously, like I've done. You can um, go around your house and try to collect different things. Maybe you've got some fabric that's available to you, string and yarn and things like that, or like toys and stuff that have different textures on them. Um, take a picture of all of them together, or if you end up with a multiple pictures of a few different ones, that is fine as well. But just have fun like exploring where you can find actual texture out in the world. Okay, so then we get to our drawing using texture. Now, I'm not actually going to draw an example for you today. I want you to take it upon yourself to come up with something using texture. Now, in your drawing here, um, it is up to you. You can have this mostly implied texture if you want to just do drawing. If you want to incorporate some actual texture, like maybe, for example, um, I might take this piece and be like, oh, this looks kind of like a tree and it gives actual texture. Maybe I glue that down or place that here and do a drawing. Um, that incorporates this tree. So you could use it. The main thing is I don't want you to just have all actual texture for this part. I want there to be at least a um, majority drawing and maybe like a little bit of actual texture incorporated in there. Maybe do a little bit of collage as well just to kind of get some, um, some fun interesting textures going on. So apply texture to objects. Like I mentioned, every object has some kind of texture. Um, so a great way to think about this actually is to think about animals um, and the textures that animals create, like uh, scales on a fish. That's a great example. Any kind of fur on any kind of animal, right? Scales on like a, a dragon or a snake. Those kinds of scales are different than fish scales, right? So we might think about how all of those um, could be incorporated into a drawing. So do a drawing using texture. Like always, take a really good photograph of um, this paper and submit it to the assignment on Canvas. All right, have fun with texture.